hello everyone the topic we cover today is cardiac cycle so if we say cardiac cycle it is a sequence of uh, sequence of means that is a series of or we can say it is a process of coordinated activity that takes place in the heart during each heartbeat so each heartbeat there are certain events that takes place in the heart is termed as a cardiac cycle so while coming to this one there are mainly two periods of uh, cycle which takes place in the heart that is a systole and another one is diastole if you come to the systole so during the systole the blood which flows into the arteries and if you come to the diastole uh, the heart will be filled with the blood or we can say the filling of blood which takes place in the diastolic process and if you come to this uh, uh, events of uh, cardiac cycle so during each heartbeat or the length of the cardiac cycle we have to see initially so what happens if our heart in an average 72 72 beats per minute the heart will be beating the heartbeat will be average 72 beats per minute then uh, the length of the approximate length of each cardiac cycle will be 0.8 seconds so that is the length of cardiac cycle 0.8 second so now we'll move to the events of cardiac cycle so there are mainly two events takes place in the cardiac cycle the first one is atrial events and the second one is ventricular events so in both cases we can say that there is a systole and there is a diastole so first we'll move to the atrial events welcome to the atrial events there is an atrial systole and atrial diastole so first we'll see regarding atrial systole if you come to this atrial systole the length of atrial systole is approximately 0.1 second and this one usually this atrial atrial systole continues as a last stage of ventricular diastole it is otherwise called as pre systole also and in this atrial systole approximately 10 percentage of blood will be flowing from atria into ventricle so come to the next one atrial diastole so while coming to this atrial diastole it is approximately 0.7 second and this length this uh, this duration or this uh, atrial diastole is lengthier why it is lengthier because the maximum atrial filling will be taking place during this particular stage that means in the right atrium the deoxygenated blood, blood from different parts of the body will be coming to the right atrium through superior and inferior vena cava and the simultaneously in the left atrium oxygenated blood will be carried from lungs through pulmonary vein Okay, so these are the events that is taking taking place in the atrial diastole. So these are the two events: atrial systole and atrial diastole taking place as a part of atrium. Now we'll move to the ventricular events. While coming to the ventricular events, there is a ventricular systole and there is a ventricular diastole. So come to the ventricular systole. The duration or the length of ventricular systole is approximately. 0.3 second and again there are two stages in ventricular systole the first one is isometric contraction and the second one is ejection period so now we'll see the isometric contraction so that is the first stage in the ventricular systole and this period is approximately 0.05 second so during this stage what happens the semilunar valves are already closed then the blood will be uh, the atrioventricular valve it will be closed during this particular stage and that produces the first heart sound and the uh, ventricle ventricle will be as a closed cavity the contraction of ventricle will be as a closed cavity but there is no ejection takes place only the tension in the ventricular musculature will be increasing and it act as a closed cavity the atrioventricular valves or we'll say av valves or there are two av valves the bicuspid valve and tricuspid valve these two will be closing and which produces the first heart sound that is the s1 or we'll say lub sound will be produced in this particular event come to the next one ejection period 
So in this ejection period, what happens? So the atrioventricular valves are closed. The muscular, the intraventricular pressure increases. As a result of this increase, intramuscular pressure, intraventricular pressure. What happens? The semilunar valves, both semilunar valves will be opened. Blood will be ejected from ventricles into the arteries. So from the right ventricle, the blood flows into the pulmonary artery, which goes to the lungs for pulmonary circulation. And from the left ventricle, the blood will be flows into the uh, left, sorry, uh, uh, flows into the uh, iota through the aortic wall. So that is the ventricular uh, ejection period. So it around 70 to 80 ml of blood will be flows into this uh, arteries. So this is termed as a stroke volume. So that is the ventricular systole. So come to the next one, ventricular diastole. So this period, it is approximately 0.5 second. It takes place for the ventricular diastole. So here what happens in this ventricular diastole, the semilunar valves will be closed. Both the semilunar valve will be, both the semilunar valve will be closed and which produces the second heart sound or the dub sound. So as a result of reduced intraventricular pressure, the blood or the atrioventricular valve will be opening blood which rushes into the ventricle. There will be initial rapid filling takes place. The blood rushes from atria to ventricles which produces the third heart sound and the blood flow will be uh, slowed down and the ventricles will be filled. And this happens in a cyclic manner. So that is termed as a cardiac cycle. Uh, this is all for today's class. This is Vishan signing off till we meet in the next class.